Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm making this video so I won't get fined, so please bear with me. NBA 2K16 versus NBA Live. NBA Live is on the left, NBA 2K16 is on the right of your screen. Let's hop into this comparison video, man. I feel like 2K versus Live is something that we really need, and I'm amped up about it, but I got to tell you guys the truth. I can't keep lying to y'all for too long. So. First of all, NBA 2K has not made many upgrades to their graphic array. They already had dope graphics. They just added some new body scans and a couple new scans for a couple new players. So you just got to bear with 2K. They've already probably hit their peak. They might have something under their sleeve, but it's not going to be coming this year. Now, for NBA Live, on the other hand, NBA Live has nothing to do but make steps forward. But the truth is about NBA Live, there's a few different things that people don't understand about the consoles that they actually run on. So, all right, I put these two pictures together to show you guys what I mean by this. The picture on the right has to be captured from a PS4. The picture on the left has to be captured from an Xbox one i don't know if you guys totally understand what i mean by this but when i played yes i've played nba live 16 when i played live 16 i played on two different consoles one xbox one and one ps4 and it was totally different graphics totally different all right so check out kyrie irving here graphically you would say uh oh, he looks pretty good he doesn't look polished that's because I think that this screenshot was from a PS4 playing NBA Live 16. I know you guys are probably even like mind fucked right now, but look at this mellow. Does this mellow scream to you, I'm in detail right now? Does this scream to you, dope behind graphics? I don't think I don't think you guys see it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys some dope screenshots from live too. Now look at this screenshot. A lot of people might look at this screenshot and say, "Is that NBA Live 15? Do, you, do you, are you starting to get it now? Are you guys starting to understand? Okay, I'm about to mind fuck you. Look at this screenshot. This is Kevin Durant in NBA Live 16. Dope as fuck. Like, look at the detail in this man right now. I feel like this screenshot was taken on an Xbox One. I'm telling y'all, when I played at E3, I was playing on an Xbox. I might have played like nine games on Xbox and like only three games on PS4 because I was drawn to the graphics on the Xbox. Now, this does not mean that your boy will be getting an Xbox this year. This just means that I think NBA Live will look a thousand times better coming from the Xbox. Now, for NBA 2K16, I feel like NBA 2K16 will look exactly the same as it does on PS4 and Xbox One on launch. It's not much you guys can ask for from NBA 2K. They gave they gave us dope graphics for 2K14, made a little bit of upgrades in 2K15. In 2K16, I think they're just polishing and adding in body scans and stuff like that. I think that 2K needs to work on gameplay, gameplay, to get us over the hump of this whole, oh, well, live graphics look just as dope type of thing. Like, they're going to need crazy gameplay, man. But check it out. I want to thank everybody that watched my Periscope live stream earlier tonight. Um, a lot of people was telling me in Periscope, make this video, make this comparison. And I just wanted to tell you guys the truth, man. PS4 for NBA Live did not look as good as NBA Live on Xbox One. I'm going to keep it completely honest here. Now, as for NBA 2K16, I have not played the game. I have seen off-camera footage. I have not seen any HD renders besides the little Pro-Am commercial that they gave out. So, I do not have any insight on that game. All right? But, when I do get some insight on it, oh, you going to know. Oh, oh, you best believe you're going to know. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video, man. Make sure you like it. Peace.